Hello everyone, this is Vakas Ahmed and I'm back again today with some more Kubernetes fun tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to learn some more basic fundamentals of the Kubernetes. The most important thing like how to, uh, you know, recover your cluster from the disaster recovery. Uh, so today we will learn how to back up the Kubernetes cluster. There are multiple, you know, ways to back up the Kubernetes, but we're going to learn some basic fundamental about the built-in utilities. So if so for before, you know, uh, we start, I'm just going to explore, uh, just give you ideas of what I'm doing. I'm creating the alias, uh, so I don't need to type again and again kubectl, so I'm just creating quickly the alias for the kubectl. The alias is completing, and let me show the kube nodes, uh, how many nodes I do have. I only have two nodes here, so I have like two nodes and two master, uh, and I'm running the kubectl. So if you want to check the status of your cluster, so there is a command like you can see kubectl get, uh, you know, uh, CS, the component structure, and you can see the component status. Uh, the scheduler is good, uh, the controller manager is good, and the add city cluster is good. So that looks good. So before you know, uh, you go into hide and you're going to re uh, back up the Kubernetes. So there are two ways. Number one, what you can do, you can just, uh, you know, uh, back up all the Kubernetes resources in the YAML file. Like uh, you can type uh, kube get uh, all in all namespaces. So this is the one command, you know, you can just type here. Uh, so these are all the resources which is running in my Kubernetes. So it, it gives me the complete resources. You know, I, I right now, it's a fresh cluster, it doesn't have that many resources, but it gives me the port, it gives me the service, it gives me the, 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 the deployment, uh, the configuration map, you know, in all the namespaces. So what I can do, I can simply go there and I can, you know, all dash resources dot yaml. And I can save this in a file. Now, wherever you want to restore this cluster, just take this file, go there, and just, you know, uh, just Q, uh, use the command kubectl apply dash and the file name. This is how you're going to restore this command. But of course, we, we not, uh, this is very a basic fun fundamental, which we're not going to use. What we're going to use today, uh, we're going to use the add cd cluster. Uh, the add cd cluster is a core component of the Kubernetes. Uh, so if I just quickly clear this, and I can show you here uh, if... Uh, I type the component status. You can see the add cd cluster I have. So add cd cluster is like a database. It contains all the information about your Kubernetes cluster. Uh, so what you can do simply just back up the add cd cluster. And once you uh, back up the add cd cluster, it will con you know s capture all the related in time snapshot. We create this snapshot. That's the built-in mechanism. And you can just go ahead to another Kubernetes cluster, or maybe if this cluster got bad you can just restore from that time point in time snapshot. So before we go ahead, first of all, on your Kubernetes cluster, just type at CD and check the version. Uh, so I'm going to type at CD version and you can see like the at CD version of the cluster using this command. Uh, so the command is at CD CL, uh, pardon me, and the I'm going to check the version. So this is you see, the HD version is 3.39 and the API version is 2. But for the command which we are going to run, we need the HD cluster which have the API at least 3. Otherwise, it's going to fail. So what I'm going to do here, I will type HCD CTL and I will tell that the API you need to use is going to be 3. Then I will type the command which is HCD CTL and snapshot. So it's going to take the snapshot and what I'm doing, I'm saving the snapshot. Uh, you don't need to remember this command, it's kind of simple, like if you're going to see, just go to the help uh, and it's going to show you all the command. Uh, probably I make some typo here, at cd, uh, at cd, yeah, here it is, ctl. So at cd, ctl, snapshot save, if you're just going to type this, so this is the argument, so you call the parameters the at cd normally use. So you need to use these argument while running the at cd. So just for the clearest, you know, just for the clear demonstration, what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, rerun the add cd command again. So this is the add cd command. So let's let's take the backup and put the backup in the current directory. Right now if I show you the ls, uh, there is only one file which is all resources.yml which we just created for the resources. So let's quickly uh, create the add cd snapshot. So I'm using the above command, I'm not going to type it again. So I'm taking the add cd snapshot and I'm saving the snapshot and let's call this a snapshot uh, let's suppose my snap, I'm um, so bad in spelling, my snapshot dot backup. 
Pardon me, this shall mistake here. So I'm taking the snapshot, I'm saving the snapshot, but this. But you know, uh, while running this command, it needs some argument. Like you can see, it says uh, it needs CA certificate, it needs certificate, it needs like other ar argument like the endpoint, uh, the user. So let's let's pass some argument. So first of all, the argument I'm gonna pass is uh, the certificate. I know the certificate, the at city certificate. It's ec slash and it's gonna be at cd dash if you don't know the certificate just let me tell you you can just type this uh, you can grab and just type what you wanna grab so i'm just checking the current processes and i'm checking the at cd so here you go if you see here it's clearly mentioned the the certificates are in this directory and this is what i was doing so let's go back again to the first command i'm using the certificate uh, you don't need to type the command. All you can do is just go there, uh, check the at cd trusted certificate, and just pass the location here. So it's going to be this certificate. The peer certificate and this certificate is kind of same in my scenario, so I'm using the same certificate. So this is the certificate. If you're going to use the key, just the key is same. Uh, you can find the key there. Uh, then once it is done, you need to pass another argument. It's called CA certificate. Again, you don't need to remember this. It's all there, like on the help. So it asks the CA certificate, and the CA certificate it's also in the same directory, and the certificate name is CA.CRT. So that's gonna be CA.CRT. There is one more, and you know, uh, argument you can give the endpoint. Like if you were taking the at CD backup of a cluster which is running on some other node. Uh, so you need to define the endpoint IP address. You know, you need to define like my cluster is running on this different specific node. In my case, my cluster is running on same node. So what I'm going to do, even you can see it, it gives you the complete example here. Like you can uh, just, it says you can type like, uh, let me just go to the next line. So I can type like uh, endpoints and I can, I need to specify the IP. It's, it's a local, so I'm just giving this IP. Okay, so that's wrong. I don't know. Let me just type 127.0.0.1 and the port gonna be 2379, which is by default port on which we are still listening. So the, the command is clear now. So just one click and here you go. It's, if I just show you there quickly. Uh, so you can see here it just took the backup of the at CD cluster and here it is. Uh, let me clear this for you guys. Uh, two, two, two. Let me just run the whole command again. It's gonna be this command, and I'm just removing the endpoint. This is the command. Snapshot save argument one. Okay, so there is a mistake. What I did, I need to give the name of the snapshot. I missed the. Uh, it says like the snapshot name is not there, so I'm gonna type the snapshot dot back let's say you know you can just it's an option you can give whatever done so here you go it save the snapshot with this name my snapshot dot backup so this is how we take the backup of the at cd cluster now if you want to you know see the status of uh, the snapshot so you can simply use the command at cd ctl snapshot and i'm gonna see the status you need to define the snapshot name uh, and I would say, okay, show me. So, uh, define the API at cd ctl underscore API is equal to three uh, at cd ctl snapshot status, and that's the snapshot name. So, this is like it's tell me uh, the, the space, the you know, the MB of the snapshot, like how much space the, the, the size of the snapshot. If you want to, you know, write in the table format, you can just give another argument like uh, write the output uh, in the table format. <coughs> so you can see like, uh, so that's the hash number, that's the revision number, and that's the total size of the at CD snapshot. So that's pretty much easy. You can just clear, you know, back up your whole uh, cluster using this command. And if something goes wrong, you have a backup, you know, called my snapshot backup in this particular time. So you can always go back and restore this snapshot. 
thank you for watching my video and i'll see you again in the next video how to restore the ad city cluster for them take care bye bye